in the previous video we had learned how to convert the numbers uh, into the Roman numerals based on the concept based on the theories we had learned a lot here uh, and uh, now this is with this we all we discussed I hope you have a very good concept and now I have uh, some Roman numerals here right here and uh, we need to convert these Roman numerals into the numbers what numbers they are what what exactly this uh, numbers mean all right this Roman numerals mean so this X X X there are three X what X represents are you remembering that yes X represent 10 and 10 20 and 30 so this represents 30 and here again 10 10 20 and this together you need to understand it's not like this like 20 and then 1 and then uh, 10 again it's not like that right uh, you, you don't uh, read in that way it is better to read together taking this together 20 and then 9 how much this is how much yes this is 29 if you, if you add this uh, this together 20 and then and then if you add this one it will be 21 and then 10 it will be 31 so don't read in that way uh, once the sequence breaks like X and X there was a sequence if one more X there was a sequence but here sequence is breaking means there is something wrong you need to take after that all together all right like like here also if you see sequence is breaking X X X there was a good sequence X X X X X we we are expecting to get another X but we cannot so we, we got the break of the system so after that what you need to do you need to take after that all together okay so this X X X 10 10 10 30 and then uh, 8 so what do you get this 38 because this V I I I represents 38 similarly here X and then IV that represents 4 so this is 10 and then 4 that is 14 yeah 10 and L what is 10 and L can you read like this no because L is the bigger number L is here 50 and before 50 if I'm writing 10 that means I'm subtracting 10 so that means it is 40 similarly here 10 and 5 because X is bigger and V is smaller so 10 uh, plus 5 that is 15 similarly here L and in the right side I'm adding right or, or adding like writing in the right side after the symbol means you're adding that so 50 plus 10 that is 60 all right and now again 50 and this 15 it is 50 plus 10 how much 60 and then 5 5, uh, five two. so it will be 65 all right and same here this 50 60 70 and then 5 75 and now here 50 60 70 and the sequence is breaking you can see here X X we, we, we were expecting another X but sequence break it means you need to take this together all right so IV this is 4 so 70 plus 4 74 and what is this L X X X X oh, the question is giving question mark what is this I'm asking you what is this can we write like this no you cannot write 4 X together the maximum limit is 3 this is extra that is why this question this question is wrong that's what I have put here question mark uh, to ask you all right now this is X and C which one is bigger in this case you need to again the same like we had got here uh, X L we had got I think somewhere yes here we had got which one is bigger X is bigger or L is bigger X is smaller and L is bigger so whenever you get this kinds of things you imagine X has been subtracted uh, not the L has been added to X keep in mind right if the bigger one is here like like L is bigger number right and if I'm writing here now first this is big and this is small so big you need to always consider as a base this is a base and if you write this side like XL it means you're subtracting not in 10 you are adding 50 it's not like that you are actually it means actually from 50 you are subtracting 10 10 means X you're subtracting from 50 you're subtracting X okay so similar here C if I'm writing here X which one is bigger first you need to uh, you need to understand C is bigger all right so this will be your base this will be your base it is not going to move anywhere so you have uh, written in the right side a smaller one so it will be uh, 100 plus 100 plus X 
uh, that is actually 10 so it will be 110 okay and now if I'm writing here instead of writing there like like C and writing here X so what you have to understand what is bigger one C is the bigger one so you need to understand that's after from the C I'm sub subtracting X okay C means I'm from 100 I'm subtracting 10 right don't think like in X I'm adding C don't think like in X I'm going to add C it's not like that okay because C is the bigger one so bigger one will be the base and you need to see left and right of that okay always see the left and right of the bigger number so your bigger number is C and in the left side means I'm subtracting what 10 so C is 100 subtracting 10 it means 90 it is now again C this is the biggest number so you need to see left and right C from C I have subtracted 10 that is 9 and I have added 1 from C 100 I have subtracted 10 and added 1 that is 91 again this is C C this is 100 from 100 I have added 4 and I have subtracted 10 added 4 that is 94 all right uh, this is actually 94 how because this is C and in C I'm adding how much I'm subtracting how much 10 how much I'm getting yes I'm getting 90 and then 90 I'm adding what 4 so I'll get 94 similarly here C is the base first calculate the minus part how much I'm calculating yes again in this case you need to understand first first solve minus then plus okay this is the rules gradually like while learning you'll understand the rules okay so this is your 100 minus 10 90 90 plus 8 98 now here how much it is yes 100 100 minus 10 because first we need to subtract then only we can go for the addition and in 90 I'm going to add how much 9 again so it's going to be 99 I see I see it's not an integrated circuit <laughs> well uh, oh I see who is to say it's not like that well C means 100 right and in front of 100 can we write I no we cannot write I because I already told you in the previous rules uh, whether it is here or not I don't know uh, but yes I had discussed that time that before C you cannot write well I might have discussed somewhere I forget where exactly but you understand that before before C you can just place X and no other number before C only one place only one seat is there and that is for X that is for 10 you cannot write before C I you can write before L you cannot write before uh, C V nothing you can write before all right so this is wrong and now L X X X 50 60 70 80 and 7 because the sequence is breaking here now see this was a sequence and sequence sequence break so I took this all together and this is my 8 okay so 80 and 8 that's going to be 88 very simple and in next video we'll be learning 100 plus or more till 1000 we'll be learning or probably till 500 and then in next video we'll be learning 500 to 1000 and after that how to write 6000, 7000, 8000 this is all we'll be learning okay catch you in the next video and if there is any problem feel free to comment just below this video and it is Really appreciate it if you subscribe the channel. Goodbye.